After Stonewall, uh, Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson actually founded STAR, which was a center um, that was dedicated to helping homeless transgender youth um, in New York City. I believe in the gay power. Sylvia once actually showed up at a uh, gay rights center and broke the desk because she was frustrated and angry that homeless gay youth would be sleeping outside of the center and were not allowed inside the center. They really wanted transgender homeless youth to feel supported in a movement that didn't always show them you know, the attention that they deserved. Sadly, uh, both Marsha and uh, Sylvia are no longer with us. Marsha P. Johnson had this amazing charisma and beauty inside and out. When she was found dead in the Hudson River, it was very difficult for the LGBTQ community. It was just seen as her jumping off the river and committing suicide when actually a lot of people in the LGBTQ community believed that this was uh, you know, a murder. Black transgender women face rates of murder that are skyrocketing even today, and 80% um, of trans people who are murdered are women of color. As a queer woman, I'm in awe of their strength and the courage and bravery that they had at the time to demand that their rights be represented in all movements. Because let's remember, Sylvia Rivera um, and, and Marsha P. Johnson were excluded from the women's rights movement, that's for sure. They were not even considered women uh, by many feminists. Rise up, rise up! Today, I feel welcomed in the feminist movement. I feel welcomed in the gay rights movement. There's a lot of work to, to do in all of the movements, but that's thanks to women yeah, like Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson.